Welcome back, this is part 9, which is the final part of this project. In this video, I will add materials and make a turntable to render animation. In previous video, I put a material on mainframe, but I want to add little detail on it. I want to add the same material on different parts too, but when you apply the material that we have just created, it also gets logo on it. Although the logo on the crane will be disappeared when you delete normal node, it will be removed from the mainframe too. That's not what I want, so I will press new material button to create new material. This button takes over material data so you don't have to create it from scratch. As you can see, even I delete normal node, it remains on the mainframe. I will copy metallic material to the rest of parts with pressing Ctrl L. Let's create gun grip material. Press new button and type the name like black part or something. The number of V will be 0 0.06 and metallic will be 1. I want to apply red color on the front side, so I will add new material. Select faces where you want to apply and press the sign button. Okay, adding materials on revolver gun is over. Next, I will add plane to model backdrop. I will use this backdrop for image rendering, but I will apply transparent for animation rendering, so modeling this object is optional. Actually, I already created the material for backdrop, so I would like you guys to copy the value of this. The value of V will be 0 0.05, the metallic is 1, and roughness is 0 0.35. Okay, let's prepare for a turntable. First of all, I will add plane axis on the viewport. Now, press I on the viewport. Select the rotation and you will get dots on the timeline. As you can see, XYZ rotation parameters become yellow. 
slide time head to the end of timeline. In my case, it's 250. Change Z value to 360. And press I to select the rotation. Press V to select vector. This makes the speed of rotation even from start to end. Let's apply all modifiers before enjoining all parts as one object. Now I'm going to press Ctrl P to set parent. When I render animation of turntable, I set a camera in right front of gun. In order to do that, press 0 to go to front side and Ctrl Alt 0 to set camera on where you are. I will add area light on the viewport, but this is optional. Using HDRI sounds good as well. This time I'm going to select PNG extension to make image sequence. After that, go to render properties and check transparent. Finally, open render tab and select render animation. Okay, let's open new project. Change viewport from modeling to image sequencer. Go to Add tab, Image Sequence, and select all images that we have just rendered. I will change FTP to 30 and select directory where you want to put the output. Don't forget to change file output to FFmpeg, and that's pretty much it. Again, go to Render tab, and select Render Animation. So that's it, that was the whole process of gun modeling. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next project.